Yeah, I know there's a recommended root page on the uh, the Fextra Life uh, Demon Souls website. I might have a, a peek over there, but let's let's like let me show you this fight. So this fight is kind of wild. I found this one very strong thing called a man eater, and then right the joke is that after half like after fighting this guy for a little while, a second one spawns. I was already struggling with one. I do deal more damage now, though. Ooh, no, 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 don't fall down, Loki. That'd be bad. Okay. Wait, that's that's bad. But anyways. Imagine two of these guys. Imagine two of those. Okay, recommended root demon souls. I, I came across this page. Game progress root. So it is obviously very uh, open-ended. You can go wherever you like. Okay, so it recommends you go... 1-1. One, one. Which is this one. Wait, no. Well, well, let me go back. I think I've done all of those. So it's recommending the gates of Boletaria first. So that is the very earth, the very first one. Then the Lord's Path, which is 1-2. Then the Smithing Ground, which is 2-1. Then Prison of Hope, which is 3-1. We've done that one too. Then the island's edge, which is 4-1. Then the depraved chasm. And then the tunnel city. So it's recommending this one to me. The tunnel city was incredibly strong though. This was like... Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I did something wrong, but... There's this area to the right over here where it's like a little like fall down type of puzzle. And uh, let's just say that there's a fight at the bottom of it with a guy that was completely covered. I do have a much better shield now, actually. I do have a very good fire resistance shield, so that's something. But yeah, I did the easy shit. Now it's time to get good. So I gotta find my way all the way down. And uh let's just say it's a little dangerous. No, I don't know, I think it was called something something demon. Oh Yeah, this this fall down thing in Majig is not very fun. Flame Lurker, that's it. Flame Lurker. But the Flame Lurker seemed like a fight where you just needed more damage out to it, and I didn't have it. No, I wasn't a spider. It was like a big-ass demon-looking thing. It's a lurker that shoots flames. Yeah, it's like a ball rock. Exactly. Okay, I think we fall down over here. Yeah. Fall down over here, maybe? Yeah. Keep falling down. Oh, is that too far? Yep. I'm not sure what the route is. I can't imagine we need to make this run many times. Because the fight is insane.
Maybe there's a trick though. Most of the boss fights have had a bit of a trick. But it didn't seem like it because this is a wide open area with lots of flames. It's not a very satisfactory route to the boss, no. Okay, so for this one, it's just on the opposite end of this bridge. This one is also the opposite end of this bridge. Ah, it's over here. Can't see shit, man. I, <laughs> I can't see anything. Uh, there seems to be something right below me. Okay. Flame Rocker is the boss you had most problems with. So I'm a little bit concerned that this is a fight that requires magic. And I don't have magic. The only way I can do magic is with that sticky white stuff. And... I only have like three of those. So I have no idea how to do it. Well, I can't just get magic. <clears throat> you need to get a lot of levels in order to get magic. <sighs> All right, so we made it to the boss room. It's a sick looking boss room. Uh, the lava, by the way, does hurt. So last time I was here when I attacked this guy, I dealt no damage, basically. Okay, good start. I want to just see if I deal more damage now. Very little. I get on fire every time, man. <laughs> I do have a flame resist type of ring. Maybe that's good. I also have a very good shield right now that's good against flame, but... Dude, every time he goes anywhere, he leaves like a trail of flames behind him, I guess. Mm, I guess it's doable. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, he looks cool, but apparently he takes bonus damage from, from magic, from what I understand. A bow? Where would I go stand and shoot arrows? <laughs> I have no idea. What happened with that greatsword? I would like to have the greatsword, but I don't know where it is. So I'm a little bit lost right now as to what I should be doing. I've explored most of the areas, but I don't really have a... Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem undoable. So, I don't know exactly how much of that sticky white stuff I have. Well, we'll have a quick little peek at the Nexus. I think he's mostly flame and um, physical damage. Hello again. I'm yeah, I've killed many strong bosses. Purple flame shield was good. Can I, uh... Okay. Fire resist. I can imagine, though, most of the good fire resist is all very heavy. 25. 32. Oh, I... <laughs> the carrying system in this game is so ass. Holy shit, who thought that was a fun thing? So I can't switch my gear around very effectively. Because every time I do, I have to take out gear from the chest, but I can't carry the gear from the chest. <laughs> it's so stupid.
Very fun mechanic. It'd be more fun if you could, like, not take more stuff out of the Nexus. Or something along those lines. Then it would actually make some sort of sense, but... Anyways. Uh... Fire resistance. Okay. So those two are pretty good for fire resist. Yeah, it's mostly the really heavy gear that's good, huh? Not unexpected. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to wear that. And stay below 50% equipment. Wait. Eh. Alright. You have a heart of gold. Okay, let's see. I mean, this one doesn't have very good... Okay, well, we'll just wear the heavy stuff first and then go from there. Um... We need to be below 50% though, before this is gonna work out. So that's not gonna help, and okay. Maybe that's okay. 51.5. That's 37. Now I'm not heavy enough. 50.9. You kidding me, game? I mean, this would do, I guess, but... Do I have any gauntlets? Hello again. I'm keeping it close. Uh... Cannot retrieve item. Okay. Wait. Wait a Forty-nine point two. All right, we'll take that. I will also run the flame resistance ring, and then we can bank the rest. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> okay. I'll just pop all of my rings in here too. So I only have two of the sticky white slime. That's what it is. Applied to the right-handed weapon to imbue magic. Can I buy these somewhere? You have a heart of gold. So it enchants the right hand med the right hand weapon with magic. I mean it's not really worth doing it right now though, because it's just a waste of resources. Maybe you can farm them somewhere, I have no idea. Probably. Alright, let's see if this makes a difference. I've got a small... I, I, I've, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting the idea that it doesn't really make any difference. I've switched my gear up and tried to go a little bit more boss specific, but... I wonder if it actually matters. Yo, what's good on Flames Games? You just got back. Did you miss anything? Uh, you missed me getting a little bit frustrated. There's a boss fight that I'm supposed to be going for, and the route there is a bit of a pain, and the boss fight seems to be very tricky with my current build. Apparently, magic is better, but I am not running any magic. I've basically got the least magic, uh, magic you can have. Not ideal. You'll bring good luck. That's nice, thank you. What's going on, Svanria? Welcome. Wow, 
What a stupid path to a false Jesus. <laughs> Who thought this was a cool idea? They were like, yes, this is great. This, <laughs> this is what players are gonna love. <laughs> Oh, the climbing down is also just wonderful. Oh yeah, this is definitely the fastest way that I found. I mean, maybe there's a faster way even still, but I don't think so. I'm trying to heal, it doesn't work. What did I change? Did my gear actually matter? How did I have less mana now? Maybe the previous set of gear gave me enough or gave me more mana? I don't know. Hello. That big overhead slime is... I'm not sure what you're supposed to do against that. Jesus, man. I, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I'm really not, like... I'm really not sure how, how I'm supposed to be beating this at this point in the game. Like, unless the fights all of a sudden are way more difficult. But I don't know. Yeah, just get good, I guess? It seems weird that there's a... Um, such a sick spike, though. I mean, you can clearly do it with melee. It's just a little heart. Yeah, I did dodge to the side as well. I'm not sure what the best route is. Learning the way he does all of his patterns and stuff is probably the best way to do it, but uh... Oh god. Oh. Oh, are we good? Nope, we're good. Is there a feature in this game that makes the world you are in more difficult the more often you die? I don't think that counts for boss fights. I've heard of that as well. I'm not sure if it's actually a thing or if it's a rumor, but... Smelter Demon wasn't very hard though in Dark Souls 2, man. Like the route to the Smelter Demon was way worse than the Smelter Demon itself. <laughs> Smelter Demon was just like a strong mob. There wasn't really a whole lot of uh, tricks to him. The more you die in human form, the harder the world becomes. Well, you can only really die once in human form unless you use those ephemeral thingamajigs. Oh, I'm dead again, I think. Yep. I'm a little concerned that I've just run the entirely wrong build. If the speedrunner guy, you guys, uh, that I raided a couple of days ago, 
thought it was a bad idea for me to run something without magic. I'm a little concerned that I should be running magic right now. And that it's not really doable without it. But I'm not sure. I mean, it's doable, obviously. You can obviously do it. But I'm wondering if I'm shooting myself in the foot. Making it way harder. He two-shotted the flame uh, lurker in his playthrough? Jeez. Just two attacks? It's not a whole lot. Yeah, I might have accidentally made the game way harder for myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm also running strength, which I thought would be good, but I've literally not come across a single strength weapon. Like, everything seems to kind of scale with dexterity so far. So, it's, uh... It's all a little shitty right now. Oh god, did I go the wrong way? I think so. Yeah. But then again, people do these fights within seconds. If they know what they're doing. Okay, let's try and roll sideways. That didn't work. Let's roll to the right. Counterclockwise. Feels unnatural. Come here, buddy. In the butt. This is better. Thank you, sir, for giving me a second to heal. Flame Lurker is not that bad a guy. He's just misunderstood. Don't know how I didn't die there. The fire resist does seem to help a little. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. I guess when I'm too close to him, you get wrecked. Oh. The flames in the arena are very annoying. I don't know how much more damage I would deal if I did the white slime shit stuff thing, my dude. The music is amazing, by the way. God, I take so much damage. <laughs> It's more about minimizing damage than not taking damage. Come here, bud. I'm not sure. I 
I don't want to really waste all my heals either, guys. Should I try to... I'm going to try. See how much better it is. So now I have magic damage on my weapon. Okay, it's about twice as much damage. Does he get new attacks? Or did he just not do these yet? Maybe he just didn't do those yet. Oh no. Ooh, just barely fine. like a dog jumping around happily. Got a little unlucky there. Okay, my magic has run out. Woo. Oh jeez. Ah, not bad, not bad, not bad. <sighs> yeah, we can kill him. We can kill him. But um, the problem is... I am going through my consumables so quickly. Like, I had 50 or so of those healing grasses. And now I've got 12. Which is, is just not, like, it's not good. <laughs> Because <laughs> when you waste these, you don't really get anything in return, right? Like, you have to go back to grinding, which is stupid. I also don't know where to get the sticky white slime. Yeah, maybe he gets faster or something in his second half. Sticky white slime. I don't think you can buy it anywhere. Oh, you can buy it. Oh, they are sold for 5,000 souls each. They're also dropped by the phosphorescent slugs in the ritual path. In the cavern-like area with the phosphorescent slugs. Oh, that's where we lost those 30-something thousand souls. Apparently they have a chance to drop it. Well, I was looking on the wiki where uh, you could get those things. One more try. Then I think I'm done. Done for today. What's going on, DB Messes? He seems doable. Just all of a sudden, a straight up fight. So far, there haven't really been a lot of straight up fights. In this, uh, in this game. It's been mostly a lot of like, figure out the trick, and then you can win type of battle. I guess if I get him to the second phase again, at like 50% health, uh, I think I'll use the sticky white slime at that point, but not, not sooner. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 that's what we're gonna do, Cetrian. Oh, come on. Oh, this path over here is, is... Oh, it's stupid. It's just incredibly dumb. I really don't like it. I'd rather run a longer route than this stupid jumping puzzle, man. Because it's so dark, I can't see anything. 
quite enjoyable to watch. Is it really? I can't imagine that. Look, if you miss with or if you mess with the display settings, yeah, maybe that's what I should do. I could increase the um the light or the brightness a little bit. Can I? I don't know. I like how you can turn off the HUD. <laughs> oh, there it is. We can pump up the brightness a little bit. I don't know if that makes it much easier to see things, but... Might make it a little bit more enjoyable. Oh, it doesn't even look terrible. I love how he plays the game like we did the first time. What do you mean? I'm <laughs> of course I'm playing a game like you did the first time if you also go into it blindly. It is a little bit easier to see them right now. That it's definitely nice. I think maybe that crown that I was wearing earlier gave me a little bit more mana. I'm not sure exactly. I put like oh god. Okay, I put like one point in uh in intelligence. That kind of helped. He's better than me. I struggled against the tower knight. Loco did it on the first try. That was a that was a cheeky fight. What? Who? Oh. <sighs> yeah, so sadly I can't Okay. We'll do one attempt. One proper attempt. And then I'm calling it a day. I think we can get him quite easily, but I've been playing so much time today. And, uh... It doesn't make things easier. No, 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 no. I'm gonna play something else. I'm not ending her. I don't know what to do against that overhead slam. Sometimes I get out of it, and sometimes I don't. I guess maybe keep a little bit more distance. Ow, that's dumb. <laughs> Walked into that play. He is kind of like a gorilla, yeah.
Come here, buddy. Come here. Don't jump away from me now. Wow, nice hit, dude. Almost got me there. Ow. Oh, fuck. Are we gonna go through all of our heals? At this base, we are! I mean, I can get heals, I guess, pretty easily again by going to that other area. We can bite them pretty easily. We can run for a little bit. Doesn't seem unreasonable anyway. Man. You're a bit of a dick, aren't you? Six heals remaining, guys. <laughs> Got him down by about 25%. And he gets stronger in the second half of his health, it seems. We're doing it, though. I have a lot of range for my uh, spear. Oh. Invincibility frame is pretty good. God, the music is awesome. I think he becomes quicker now. This feels more like a demons or a Dark Souls fight though so far. Maybe that's what the second half of this game is gonna be like. I don't know if I'm even halfway, I don't know. I like this place. This location in the arena, I mean. New subscriber detected. Okay. New subscriber detected. Hey, there it is, boy! Let's go, nice. Woo! Thank you for you not doing a very long donation detected. message there, guys. I was a little scared that I was gonna get like the longest text to speech in my in my you know history of streaming. It's like, hello, loco. Thank you. For, like you know, like that would be that would be something if Brian New started his whole spiel. Detected. But luckily, Low luckily we. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get there. Hey, thank you very much for the subs, guys. Woo! How steady is the hand? 
New subscriber detected. A little bit of adrenaline. <laughs> it is a Soulsborne game after all. Whew. New subscriber detected. <sighs> nice. Pretty steady. Pretty steady. Hey, thanks for the, uh, for the subs, guys. Detected. C wait, so the, the last sub before Sea of Whiskey's one was over an hour ago. And all of a sudden, we have a whole lot of subs. So we had Sea of Whiskey with 56. Thort gifting a sub to P-Rider, who's now a sub for a year. Thank you, P-Rider. And thank you, Thort. Thort with the gifted sub to New Big Lion's Den. Anonymous to Piffly. Alith with the 14 months. Thort gifting a sub to Magnus. An alien guy and Atlantis. Hey, thanks, guys. <sighs> Thank you, Thort. The soul of the flame lurker demon. Consumed to gain a large number of souls, certain demon souls transmute into magic, miracles, or weapons. New subscriber detected. Yo! Can you imagine beating this game without getting hit, at all? And also without leveling up. But not just this game, all five of them in one go. I know, right? New subscriber detected. Some people are crazy. Humans are very good when they specialize into very specific things. We can do pretty crazy stuff. There is a guy who has done this, by the way. And it's even more extreme than that. I don't know what his name is, but there's this New one guy. New subscriber detected. Who did... Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and Sekiro. I believe in that order. All while taking absolutely zero hits to the, to the face. So, like, no damage taken on the character. Other than maybe some fall damage. His name is Happy Hop. Alright, so, say for example, he would make it all the way through Demon Souls and then Dark Souls 1 and 2. And he would make it all the way towards uh, Dark Souls 3 and he would take damage there. He would go all the way back to Demon Souls. <laughs> it's mental. <laughs> like, some people are confirmed. so good at games, it's crazy. <laughs> when, when the hardest games become too easy, you start, you know, challenging yourself, I suppose. It's, it's pretty wild. Hey, thanks for the hype train, guys. I'm glad I killed the boss, actually. I didn't think I was going to be able to beat that today. The tricky part, if you don't kill it right now, right, I'm gonna have to come back next time to this game. And then it'll New be something along the lines detected. of like, oh my god, last yeah, time yeah, around, yeah. I figured out where to go, but I have to, like, I, I need to go kill this boss right now. There's nowhere else. <sighs> it took him New about two years. Detected. Crazy, man. Hey, thank you, Heinchi, for the sub. Thank you, Crafty Ogre, for gifting a sub. Ace Gamer with a gifted New sub as well. Detected. Gammon with 500 bits. Metameister with 38 months. Ace Gamer gifting another sub. And then Thort also gifting one to Alvito. Woo! New I'm subscriber very happy I got detected. that boss down, guys. Not gonna lie. That was, uh... That was something. New subscriber detected. I don't know what else to say, so for the first time I will you ooh, ara, you, you ooh, ooh, ara. ara. Thank you very much, Gamon. 43 months as well. It gets even worse. Happy Hop is no ordinary blah 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 blah. Right, he completed the whole series without getting hit. So wait, New if, subscriber you, detected. if you add Demon Souls, Bloodborne, and all these other games to the genre, there's a total of bosses of 69. So there's exactly 69 bosses in this game. New subscriber detected. Or in these games. Alright. 68 mandatory bosses, 69 total. Oh, so there's 68 mandatory ones, and I guess he did one optional one. Crazy, man. Hey, Nicky Venice. Oh, yeah, he's definitely gonna add Elden Ring. 
Hope tried to add one optional boss from Demon Souls and got hit on the optional boss. What? New subscriber no. detected. Hope decided to go toe to toe with a reptilian foot like appendage with an optional tutorial boss New called Vanguard. New subscriber detected. Vanguard strikes often with scatter rubble. Oh my god. Wait, he got hit by that guy? <laughs> god, man. that's It's painful just thinking about it. <sighs> what a bad player. Yeah, he couldn't even, like, not get hit. This guy sucks. Maybe play an actual hard game. Hey, thank you, Thor, for going absolutely wild, by the way. Sven is also gifting that sub. <laughs> Just dodge. <laughs> so we got the Searing Demon Soul. What do we do with the Searing Demon Soul? We can give it to Ed. Uh, to enable advanced weapon forging. What? Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. I can give him to Ed right now to unlock advanced weapon forging. I can forge weapons for you. <laughs> oh. What? Can I Well Ed's still up to his old ways. New you? subscriber <laughs> detected. Oh wait, this is not Ed. What to do with him, hmm? yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. This is not Ed? New oh no, this is Baldwin. Detected. Oh, I know where Ed is. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Wait, no. I will touch the demon. New subscriber detected. Thank you, Ace. Thank you, maybe mage as well for your nine months. I am finished, thank you, yes. Uh, I know where Ed is. I found Ed. In the smithing grounds. Eddie! Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah, but I needed to get 25 endurance first because, and, you know, level 20. 25, you know, it's a, it's a round number. Hey, what? I don't think I've actually ever gone here. Maybe I did, I don't know. <sighs> hey, thank you guys for the hype train. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, Ed is somewhere here down below, I think. Oh, I'm glad I killed that boss, guys. Yeah, the main advantage if you have to come back later, like say the next day, to continue doing a boss fight. When you're hardcore into it, your REM sleep is kind of OP. I think this is Ed, right? Eddie, can I call you Eddie? What be your need? If it be a blacksmith, then show me your steel. If not, then head straight for the door. Ed is kind of a dick. Oh, I can make it into a moon short spear. What? How does that work? New subscriber. You can melt it Detected. back down to a regular one? Indeed. Oh, this makes it skill with intelligence. Alright. Hey, thank you, HMH BV. Demon souls. They're like powerful spirits. Some can even bless weapons. But doing so requires a powerful flame. Invigorated by a demon soul of scorching heat. I told you that I'm busy. Each ore has a grade. Mighty weapons can only be blessed by ores of high grade. The highest grade of all is a pure ore that shines in utter brilliance. A spirit force. That delights the eyes. <laughs> this guy loves his job. 
The highest grade of all. Uh, so I don't know how this works, guys. I mean, I can upgrade it to plus seven. But, like, do I really want to stick with the spear? That's the question. Like, it now gets sea level scaling. And I am still strength based. So I don't think I should waste resources on this, man. I need to find a strength weapon. So wait, I thought I was supposed to give him this soul that I got with me right now. The Searing Demon Soul. What do you what do you what do you need me to put it, Eddie? Eddie, can I call you Eddie? I feel like you really don't need a fireplace in your house. <laughs> I like how the fireplace is lit. Like <laughs> I don't think we need more uh Oh, you think I have to talk to the but I just talked to uh the Baldwin as well. I guess I'll go talk to, uh, I don't know. 